family welcome back to the channel thank you so much for coming back today's video is going to be another hair tip video you guys have been loving the natural hair series so i'm just going to continue to bring them to you guys so i've done a lot of hair tip videos but a lot of you guys keep asking me to bring some more and some more and some more so I have decided to bring you yet another one. With that being said, if you wanna know some very important tips on how to grow your hair longer, stronger, and thicker, then please continue to watch. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Mercy. I'm an RNBSN, and on this channel, I talk about nursing, lifestyle, beauty. I do a little bit of vlogging. I talk about feminine hygiene. I talk about natural hair, and I just do a little bit of everything. So if you would like to join my family, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and also hit the bell notification button so you never miss another one of my videos again. Today's video is going to be all about growing longer, thicker, and healthier hair. I'm going to be giving you guys some great tips to help you along your natural hair journey and if you guys are not on the natural hair journey all my family here on my youtube channel have joined me we are all natural i'm doing a lot of protective stylings and i've been wearing a lot of wigs and i've been also reviewing a lot of wigs for you guys to also encourage you guys to protect your hair i have made a vow to myself that i'm not going to put any kind of heat or any kind of chemicals in my hair for the next six months so i highly encourage you guys to do that with me as well trust me you're gonna see a big big difference what i like to do is besides the time when i'm doing a hair review or product review for you guys i like to put my hair away so whether it means braiding it or twisting it I just like to put my hair away for a long period of time and then bi-weekly or maybe once a month depending on what's going on I like to wash my hair do all my treatments and then put it back away and I'm telling you whenever I go to do my length check or my trims my hair looks amazing and it looks thicker it looks healthier and it looks longer so that is the journey i am on and i encourage you if you haven't already joined please go ahead and join my natural hair journey by subscribing to the channel so you can see all my natural hair videos i have tons and tons of videos because these videos are really really helpful to the ladies who are actually using them so if you would like to join the family please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and also hit the bell notification button so you never miss another one of my videos with that being said let's get right into today's video so in today's video i'm going to be giving you 10 great tips to help you grow your hair back not only longer but healthier and thicker with that being said let's get right into number one number one resist the urge of coloring your hair. Stop coloring your hair if you wanna go natural, if you wanna grow your hair longer, or if you want your hair to be stronger. Yes, I know it's hard, but trust me, this is going to help. And if you have a goal in mind, let's say you wanna grow a few inches of hair within a year's time, just sacrifice that time and stop coloring your hair. Please resist the urge of coloring your hair blonde because the lighter, the worse. The darker hair colors have less, um, I guess, chemical to make your hair weak and brittle, but the lighter you go, the worse it is for your hair. I don't know if you guys have seen a lot of this, but whenever people get those highlights or they get the ombre effect with the lighter ends and the darker root, their hair ends up falling out so much to the point where they almost have to cut it off. Most people People cut it off or they just let it grow out if you just want to be fashionable and trendy and you know have the latest hairstyle then that's fine you can color your hair you can do whatever you want but if you're on a natural hair journey if you and your hair have been through so much and you just want to give your hair a break and you also just want to have long healthy thicker hair then please resist the urge to color your hair the second thing that's going to make a big difference in your hair is by sleeping with a satin pillowcase. This is very, very important, especially for around the edges. Those areas, when you sleep at night, you move around, you rub your face and your hair, and your hair is also rubbing against your pillowcase. So you need a pillowcase that's going to protect your hair. And a lot of you guys might say it's hard to find. It's actually not hard to find. Just look up satin pillowcases. You will be able to find a whole bunch. And if all else fails, just go to Amazon or your local bedding stores and you'll be able to find one. So I have one here that I want to show you guys this is what i'm talking about see how smooth that is 
this is a satin pillowcase and this is a really good quality one as well this was actually sent to me by a pr company as you can see i haven't used it but i do have some that i use and i got it from amazon and if i remember i'll try to leave a link to a satin pillowcase down below but this is very very important because if you're not wearing a head wrap or you're not the kind of person that wears those kind of things or maybe you just want to be cute for your new little boo thing and you don't want to wear a head wrap then a satin pillowcase will solve that problem so just get one that already matches your bedding or you can just get a silver one or a black one black blends with everything so that is why i have this one but this is what it looks like see that see how that looks so when your head rubs against it there is no friction and therefore your hair is not going to be breaking off or falling out so silk pillowcase is your best friend the next tip i'm going to talk about is using some external force so let's say you've tried all the oils in the world you've tried all the vitamins you've tried all the hair mask and hair treatments and this and that and nothing seems to be working and you don't have the money to go get hair transplant as i suggested in my previous video there are other things out there that can actually help you so these things are usually formulated to increase blood flow and circulation to your scalp in order to grow your hair back and one of those products that i want to talk to you guys about today is care care is a fda clear low laser hair growth system that uses low levels of laser light therapy to improve cellular respiration to help you grow thicker healthier and longer hair now let's get real care is a little pricey and it's also not a quick fix pill so you have to use this laser cap for about seven months to really start to see the effect and the benefits with that being said they have a seven month money back guarantee so if you used it didn't like it you can return it and get your money back as i said this is fda cleared it is also clinically proven not only to grow women's hair but also men's hair another great thing about it is it is portable so you can wear it while you clean your house while you travel on those long plane rides or you know your road trip you can just take it anywhere with you because it's very discreet and the other thing is that you don't have to wear it all day every day they only recommend that you wear it 30 minutes a day every other day so i'm sure you guys can spare 30 minutes to grow your hair and again you don't have to be stuck to a table or to a chair you can walk around you can do things that you normally do with your hat on your head with that being said let me show you guys the cap okay so first of all it comes in this very protective case see that this is very very durable very strong and that is the brand right there care and so this is what your hat comes in it has all the equipment and all the fancy gears in here but i have put the hat together and i'm just going to show you guys so this is the actual system this is what it looks like and then this is the hat that it comes with so you literally just put it in your hat and you can adjust it and you can just do anything you have to do to make it fit your head. You can either plug it in when it's not charged and sit there and use it. But once it's charged, you can take this portion out and just wear it. I have a wig on and I have my hair braided, so it's not going to fit completely. So this is what it looks like. This is basically it, y'all. You look like you're wearing a regular baseball cap, and you can't go wrong with that. They are super great with customer service. You can follow them on Instagram and also on their website. And the great thing is there has been no reported side effects, so that's a great thing. So I encourage you guys to try it out if you have the finance. I will leave all their info down below, and I'll also leave a discount code for you guys to check them out. With that being said, let's move on to the next tip. Silk or satin bonnet. These fabrics actually promote moisture so that your scalp is not dry or your edges area is not dry that way you're gonna be doing your part to prevent breakage again for those of you guys who don't know what a bonnet looks like this is what a bonnet looks like I've already reviewed this on my channel if you haven't seen that video I'll leave the link down below but this is reversible so it has two sides it has the black side and it has the silver and black side, as you can see. But this bonnet is perfect because, again, you can just put it on at night. If you don't want to do a head wrap, you can put your bonnet on. It looks really pretty. And you can also walk around the house with this. Shampoo your hair less. I'm not talking about washing your hair. I'm talking about shampooing your hair because there is a way that you can wash your hair without shampoo. There are many ways you can wash your hair without shampoo. Shampoos, especially the ones with high levels of sulfate, those can really, really dry 
dry your hair out, leaving it weak and brittle and susceptible to falling out or breaking off. So let's say you wash your hair once a week. Maybe alternate that. So maybe this week do a whole shampoo, conditioner, and all of that. And then next week only use your hair treatment or your hair mask or anything like that. But shampooing your hair, especially for those of you guys who do it every single day, that is going to leave your hair weak and brittle. So stay away from the shampoo. And when you do buy your shampoo, or if you are going to use shampoo, make sure you're looking for shampoos that say sulfate free. Okay, so I've said this before and I'll say it again, your hair needs moisture. Especially if you're black like myself and also natural, you guys know that natural hair is it's a battle all by itself. And we are going to win because with all these tips and all these videos, we're gonna come out on top. We're gonna come out of quarantine with toe bone length Hair. If you agree with me, type amen down below. Let's be positive. Let's speak it out into existence. And let's just hope and believe that if you take care of anything, anything that you put a lot of time and attention to is going to flourish. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's your hair, your skin, your body, your relationship, your job, whatever it is. If you spend a lot of time, focus, effort, energy, love, something good is going to come out of it. And that is exactly the goal we're trying to make here. Okay. So back to conditioning, you want to condition your hair a lot. So that means, as I said, doing a co-wash, use a lot of leave-in conditioner, pre-pull your hair when you apply your oils right before you braid or twist your hair to put it away. Make sure you're using something moisturizing to keep the moisture in your hair. The way I like to do it, I have to do a video to show you guys how I do it. I like when my hair is wet, like saturated with either a leave-in conditioner or some kind of oil because when your hair is dry, that is going to promote breakage and you don't want to promote any unnecessary breakage. I like to completely saturate my hair with my leave-in conditioner, my oils, or just anything on my scalp and my hair that is going to leave my hair moist instead of dry. And again, it doesn't have to be a specific brand. It doesn't have to be the brand that I use. If you find something that works for you, go ahead and use it, but just make sure that your hair is always, always moisturize the next tip we're going to talk about is drying your hair with towels do not use a towel to dry your hair in case you haven't heard this before towels are really bad for your hair so you can use either a t-shirt kind of like this one a regular t-shirt and nothing fancy just a cotton t-shirt like this one just use it and cover your hair with it let it sit there and then blot it like that never ever twist or turn your hair because that again is going to cause friction and is going to cause your hair to break off and fall off and there are also microfiber towels out there that are specially made for drying your hair to prevent this exact problem so you can either look those up and buy them i'm pretty sure they have some on amazon but if you don't have the finance to do that just use your t-shirt use your t-shirt when you wash your hair put it on your head like i said blot it like that until it dries and let it air dry and you're good to go give your hair some break have you ever wondered why people with dreads have really long hair that is because they twist their hair and they put it away and they don't mess with it the only time they mess with it is when they go to wash it condition it oil their scalp or to retwist it and yes people with dreads do wash their hair but generally they leave their hair alone they're not combing it they're not pulling on it they're not tugging it they just leave their hair be the point i'm trying to make is leave your hair alone this is where protective styling comes into play you want to find your favorite protective style that looks good on you for me I'm an influencer and I like to wear wigs. So I have a lot of companies reaching out to me and sending me wigs. And that is why I decided to start sharing those kind of videos with you guys. So I do a lot of hair reviews because I keep my hair covered and safe. So wear a lot of wigs if you're a wig person like myself. Wear braids if you're a braid person. I'm a little afraid to do braids like box braids and stuff just because my edges are so super super sensitive even when i sneeze my edges have an attitude so i just like to leave them alone and just put on a wig and call it a day like i said just find your favorite protective style and just leave your hair alone you will see a big big difference tip number nine nutrition you guys know that i was not gonna make this video and not talk about that maybe it's the nurse in me or maybe it's just me repeating myself over and over until you guys get it have you ever seen a person on drug 
or a person who has an eating disorder like anorexia, normally their hair is weak and brittle. That is because they do not get the proper nutrition to grow their hair. Please try to incorporate some foods that is hair healthy. That is going to change your hair life forever. Last but not least, try some different hair masks to improve the strength of your hair. Usually protein treatments are very, very good. So whether it's your rice water, whether it's your avocado or your egg, that is going to help strengthen your hair and therefore help it grow, grow, grow. Because when your hair is strong, it is harder for it to break off. And when it's not breaking off, it's gonna retain its length, hereby leading to longer hair. That is it for today's video, guys. I hope these tips were helpful. If they were, go ahead and give the video a big thumbs up. If you guys wanna see a lot more hair tip videos, go ahead and comment hair tips down below and I'll be sure to make more of these videos. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you'll join the family and also hit the bell notification button so you never miss another video from me again. Don't forget to check the info box for some very important information and also to get the website, the details, and the coupon code to get your care haircut. Thank you guys again so much for your love and support and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!